back to my channel Ed Empower. Today I want to talk about the Central Board of Secondary Education or CBSE for short. As many of you know, CBSE is a national level board of education in India for both public and private schools. It is controlled and managed by the Union Government of India. The main purpose of CBSE is to provide a standardized education system across the country and to conduct the board exams for class 10th and 12th. This helps to ensure that students receive a consistent level of education regardless of where they go to school. Now, let's talk about some advantages of CBSE. First, CBSE provides a uniform curriculum and evaluation system across the country which helps to promote national integration. This means that students in different parts of the country are learning the same material and being held to the same standards. Additionally, the CBSE curriculum is designed to be student-centric with an emphasis on practical learning and the application of knowledge. This helps to make the learning process more engaging and meaningful for students. Another advantage of CBSE is that it provides a wide range of elective subjects which allows students to pursue their interests and talents. This allows students to tailor their education in their specific needs and goals. Finally, CBSE is recognized by most universities in India and abroad, which makes it easier for students to seek higher education. So now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of CBSE. One major disadvantage is that the CBSE board exams are considered to be very challenging and little stressful for students. This can negatively impact students' mental and emotional well-being. Some critics say that the way CBSE teachers is too focused on memorizing facts and does not encourage thinking deeply or being creative. So CBSE is not very flexible in terms of local language and culture, which may be disadvantageous for students in certain regions of the country. So overall, CBSE is a well-respected and widely recognized board of education in India. While it does have its advantages and disadvantages, but it's up to each student and their parents to weigh the pros and cons and decide if CBSE is the right fit for them. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more educational content and motivational videos. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to 